our direct perception approach estimates a few key affordance indicators, then computes the driving commands based on those indicators. Now we show our direct perception-based system driving autonomously in a racing game, Torx. We show our direct perception CNN running on real driving videos. We show our kitty based direct perception model running on some testing samples, and we also compare it with the DPM based baseline and the manually labeled ground truth. We train convolutional networks to estimate optical flow. The method runs at roughly 10 frames per second, captures small, fast-moving objects very well, and beats state-of-the-art among real-time methods. The network is trained end-to-end. -end. The contracting part extracts a rich feature representation. We propose two architectures. In a simpler one, we process two stacked images jointly. Alternatively, we first process the images separately, then correlate their features at different locations, and process further. The expanding part of the network produces the high-resolution flow. It makes use of upconvolutional layers and features from the contracting part. We train the networks on a large synthetic flying chairs dataset with 2D motions of rendered chairs. Even with these simplistic training data, we achieve competitive results on Sintel. In this paper, we propose a unified optimization framework called self-taught semi-supervised learning, which learns simultaneously the affinity matrix and the unknown labels. In our proposed approach, the given labels and the inference labels are used to revise the affinity matrix. And the inference labels 
are also used to facilitate the label propagation. In experiments, we show that our approach improve the performance significantly. Welcome to visit our poster. Thank you. In image processing, nonlinear anisotropic diffusion smooths out noise and preserves discontinuities. Our goal is to apply nonlinear anisotropic diffusion to a label propagation on graphs. Our assumption is that data are sampled from underlying manifolds. Our observation is that anisotropic diffusion on a manifold M is isotropic diffusion on M with a new metric. We discretize manifold M onto graphs and construct two new metrics which lead to two nonlinear diffusion processes. Smooth diffusivity, when I and J are strongly connected if they are well connected through mutual neighborhoods, and local match diffusivity, where I and J are strongly connected if neighbors of J are well connected to any neighbors of I. These metrics improve performance versus isotropic and competing methods across 11 semi-supervised learning tasks.
We propose a maximum margin structured learning framework with deep neural networks for 3D human pose estimation. Traditional prediction-based methods learn a mapping from the input space to the target space. In contrast, structured learning estimates a score function that measures how well an input-output pair matches. During the inference stage, the predicted output is the valid pose that has highest scores with a given input. Our framework consists of three subnetworks, image feature extraction, image embedding, and pose embedding. The score function is the dot product between the image and pose embedding. The image and pose embedding networks are jointly optimized using a maximum margin criteria. For each training image, we find the pose with the largest margin violation. This pose is then used to update the network parameters using backpropagation. We test our network on the human 3.6 million dataset. After training the network, we observe that the learned image pose embedding has semantic meaning. For example, one direction in the space indicates the orientation of the person relative to the camera, while another direction indicates which leg is towards the camera.
Suppose you want to perform a structured prediction task such as multi-class gesture recognition from video sequences. You don't know which video frame actually contains the gesture, but only the video label. It would be too expensive to label each frame. To deal with such weakly supervised data sets, we model the lack of frame level label with latent variables and consider the joint distribution of the gesture label and the latent variables. Existing loss-based methods perform learning and prediction by either marginalizing the joint distribution, setting the latent variable to the value that maximizes the joint probability, or minimizing an entropy measure over the joint distribution. With an entropy-based prediction criterion, we propose a unified framework that recovers this model as special cases. We develop a common and effective learning algorithm, evaluate each model's prediction criterion, and provide empirical evidence that lends support towards prediction via the minimization of the latent space uncertainty. We present a convolutional neural network which is able to take a single colour image, such as the one shown here, and regress the camera's full 6 degree of freedom pose in 5 milliseconds. It is able to determine the camera's position and orientation within approximately 2 metres and 3 degrees for large scenes spanning 50,000 metres squared. Here we show what the view looks like from the predicted camera pose on a visual reconstruction of the scene. This is that view overlaid in red on the original input image. Here are some more examples with different scenes from our data set. The image in the top right is from the predicted camera pose. Note that the reconstruction model is purely for visualization and plays no role in the relocalization algorithm. We created a novel relocalization data set from smartphone video taken by a pedestrian walking around an urban environment. Each frame is labeled with a 6 degree of freedom camera pose.
facial movements are associated with emotions. In other words, for recognizing facial expression, there are two valuable information, such as appearance and geometrical changes. In our approach, the convolutional neural network is used to extract the temporal appearance feature, which is necessary for facial expression recognition. Using the first layer of the network, we detected useful moving parts. Fully connected deep neural network catches geometrical information about the motion of the landmark points. We extracted the important facial landmark points from the first layer for visualization. How to combine these networks? We propose a joint fine-tuning method, which is based on three loss functions. We freeze the weight values, and retrain the top layer. For more information, please visit our poster. We would like to detect and count any type of repetitive motion live, just like humans do. So we designed a completely novel system that is trained on unrealistic synthetic data. The system is able to count everything. In unconstrained videos, and in live camera feeds.
In this work, we explore causal relationships in visual tracking. There are obvious cases, the cameraman following the object or moving around a static scene. In the left video, the object stays static throughout the sequence. This also holds for the right video after compensating for camera motion. There are less obvious cases where the camera motion and its relationships with the objects can be beneficial to tracking. In this sequence, there are several challenging moments. The first is when the camera suddenly shakes. The second is after full occlusion. Using the camera motion information and causal relationships, prior information can be supplied to a tracker to prevent failure in both these cases. We propose a method to discover these causal links. Our entropy-based approach can measure complex non-linear relationships. These are then used to predict future object motions outperforming non-causal methods such as autoregression or Kalman filter. Please come see us at our poster for more information.
Pika 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 boop. Do it, mommy. Do it, mommy. Pika 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 boop. We address the problem of video segmentation by clustering square pixels from video frames. Our method is called parametric graph partitioning. PGP constructs an affinity graph over input data, identifies and removes all between cluster edges to produce data clusters. Here, we first construct a spatial temporal super pixel graph. Then for each feature, fit a two component wave mixture model to the similarity distances where the saddle point of the mixture defines the dissimilarity threshold. Remove graph edges with weights higher than the threshold, and the remaining nodes form the final clusters as a resulting segmentation. Our method produces a single layer of segmentation and improves the state of the art by as much as 30% in 3D segmentation benchmarks. It is also 20 to 30 times faster than the state of the art. As drivers, we trust ourselves to make the right decisions. But we rarely detect disaster until it's too late. Our sensory technology anticipates your actions before they occur, giving you just enough time to make all the difference.
we propose a method of remove prediction noises and flattening predictions. We target all and real-time applications, and a method uses a principled formulation. In classical exponential filter, the filter is performed on fixed spatial location. However, in our adaptive exponential filter, we search for a flexible path that can bring maximum evidence. The path is adapted for each pixel and the filter is nonlinear. The advantage is that our method can better handle isolated false alarms. It can also better handle the missing predictions. In UCF results, it can be seen our method works well for removing isolated false alarms. It can also work well for fast motion categories such as long jump. Our scene parsing filter shows that although our method does not rely on optical flow or IMF, it performs comparably to the method that relies on it. Video segmentation is a challenging task. There are mainly two ways to get annotation for a video. Manually it is tedious and time consuming, whereas a strong object motion is a default assumption for various algorithms. In our approach we first segment point trajectories. This gives us a coarse skeleton of the object. The user marks scribbles in various frames with an easy to use interface. Random walk then assigns a soft label to unlabeled trajectories. The results can be seen instantly and further refinements can be done. Next, we do an offline dense segmentation by combining different cues. Soft labels of random walk serve as the motion cue. For appearance, we encourage consistency of the color distribution between neighboring frames. For code and data, please visit our website.
In this paper, we propose a novel method that improves upon black box optimization by exploiting high level knowledge of the structure of the parameters. Due to the hierarchical structure, it is called hierarchical sampling optimization. The partial pose optimization is done in this way, each input is propagated down the regression forest and mapped to a GMM distribution. And M samples are drawn from this distribution. Then the silver energy is applied to select the best one. After four layers, we then have a full pose hypothesis. This process is repeated n times to have n hypotheses. Finally we apply the golden energy to choose the best one as output. The following demo shows the impact of hierarchical optimization. We can see that without optimization with partial poses, the full pose hypotheses are less accurate and unstable. 